that there is no more home, no, nowhere to return to. The majority of refugees fleeing Ukraine are women and children. Displaced mothers are in need of donations in order to care for their kids. Ryan Katani is here to explain how you can help. Ryan, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So far, more than 4 million Ukrainians have had to flee their homes. Most men, however, are not allowed to leave the country because of a military draft, which leaves mothers trying to care for themselves and their children with very little help. Donations are one way people in here in East Tennessee can support them. Hard and Valley Church of Christ is collecting backpacks filled with items like wipes, baby powder and diaper rash ointment. The bags will be shipped to various refugee camps. I spoke to a Ukrainian mother who's working with the church and leading an effort to get needed items to women and children who need it. You, you can tell it right away, but they are traumatized and it is very hard for them. I have talked to many mothers and uh, all of them are saying that uh, their kids want to go home. They don't understand that we cannot do that. Stacy is now in Poland with her seven year old son. They left Mariupol three weeks ago with just a backpack and two crates for their pets. This was their living situation before leaving no electricity or running water. She and her son are now in a safe place, but says she wants to help mothers in similar situations. We have a full list of needed items at WBIR.com. You can drop them off at the Hardin Valley Church of Christ on Hardin Valley Road. Abby and Heather donations are really needed right now still more than ever. They've Boy. been through so much, and you know that this is just one way, a small way to help. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Well, right now,